I think Ian Chappell was one of the best captains I ever saw. And I think he had lots of important qualities. One was he was very shrewd. And another was he was extremely tough and resilient, sometimes almost to the edge of, of, of what one might think one should be, but I think on the whole not. I mean, he was, they were a very aggressive side and a very successful side. He had the, had the good fortune, of course, to have Dennis Lilly come in as a young player under him. And Dennis Lilly was absolutely key to all that Australia did in the 70s and probably the early 80s as well, or well, 70s to just after 80. He was an aggressive captain. He was always looking to make the best of a situation, to take wickets. He, he, he had no very little... He would have an attacking field if he possibly could. He was shrewd. He was a great... I said he, he's somebody who makes the best of, of difficult situations. As a batsman, he would find a way of scoring a single of a good ball or turning a single into a two. Uh, he was resourceful. Um, he, he once was alleged to have said, he's also humorous, he's once alleged to have said, uh, he was asked what spin bowlers were for, and I believe he said, they're for getting you from 60 to 100 as quickly as possible, which I thought was quite a nice remark. It showed his attitude to spin bowling. I mean, he, he, he thought, he often took them on, he hit them over the top, he thought they were there to be hit, really. Uh, but he was also a great fighter, and I think he gave up hooking to some extent because he got out one too many times. Too. He thought it was didn't have enough control of it, so he got hit a lot, but it didn't ever disturb him. Yeah. I tell you, the only drawback to to, to Ian Chappell's captaincy that I and everyone has drawbacks, by the way. That's another thing to say about captaincy is that no one's perfect and no one gets the best out of everyone. But I think that there were some people, perhaps more on the fringe or less um, combative obviously combative members of the Australian team who possibly felt they couldn't quite go along with the highly antagonistic front that that team presented to the world and to the opposition. Yeah. So I think there were some people who probably felt not quite part of it in a, in a comfortable way. They might have been better off in a team which was more accommodating, more friendly to the opposition, more, I don't mean less... Uh, competitive but less obviously competitive and I think he he expected I think he was very uh, he was a great believer in in getting on with the game leaving the umpiring to the umpires he once said to that to me if I because I indicated that I'd hit the ball into the ground when they appealed against me he said Mike uh, you do the batting we'll do the bowling and fielding leave the umpiring to the umpires which I thought was fair enough uh, he once, I believe, walked off the field, having been given out, caught at the wicket down the leg side of his pad, uh, twice in a match, without anyone on the field knowing that it was a mistake by the umpire, which I also think is admirable. So I think he was very straight, very tough, very shrewd. Anyway.